don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. The original name of the crime family was Profaci, named after its boss, Joseph Profaci. He was appointed the boss position following the murder of the Brooklyn boss at the time, Salvatore Toto di Aquila. The history of this family is one of war, not with the other four families, but internally. In the 60s, Crazy Joe Gallo had a fallen out with his boss, Profaci. This feud turned into the First War which some mistakenly called the First Colombo War. However, at the time, the family was known as the Profaci family. When that war ended, the family had a new boss, Joseph Colombo, and a new name, the Colombo family. The second war, again started by Joe Gallo, took place in 1971. Joe Colombo created the Italian-American Civil Rights League, and during a rally in 1971, he was shot. It has been the theory of many, the shooter, a black guy named Jerome Johnson was sent by none other than Joe Gallo. This war came to an end in 1972. Joe Gallo, who was out celebrating his birthday at Umberto's Clam House in Manhattan, was shot several times and died from his injuries. It was during the end of this war that a new boss emerged. His name was Carmine the Snake Persico. Persico, a former member of the Gallo crew, earned his nickname after betraying Joe Gallo and the crew. Carmine Persico remained an active boss up until his 1985 indictment. The federal government indicted Persico along with members of the Colombo family. However, before he was arrested, he lambed it. Law enforcement eventually caught up to him in a Long Island home belonging to his cousin. His legal troubles were about to get worse. By June of 1985, Persico was added to the massive federal indictment against the leadership of the five families. This case was dubbed the Commission Case. At trial, Persico decided to defend himself by acting as his own lawyer. In his closing argument, he told the jury, Mafia, 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 take that out of the trial and there is no trial. On November 19, 1986, the jury returned their verdict. All the defendants were found guilty, including Persico. On January 13, 1987, Judge Richard Owen sentenced Carmine Persico to 100 years. Unlike other bosses who stepped down after receiving long prison sentences, Carmine Persico would remain the official boss to his family. At first, Persico would name his son, then his brother, both named Alley Boy, as the acting boss, but their legal troubles prevented them from keeping the position. In 1988, Persico picked Victor Arena to become his acting boss, but by 1991, Arena received word that he would be replaced. Persico's son, Alley Boy, who was being released from prison, would take the position back. Arena, who felt he should be the official boss, went to the commission. He was basically asking for their blessing, which he didn't receive. Arena then made a mistake. He went to the Colombo consigliere, Carmine Sessa, who Persico put in a position, and asked him to poll the captains in the family to see if they supported him as their official boss. Sessa instead sent word to Persico in prison about Arena's intentions. Arena naturally was mocked for death. In June of 1991, a hit team was sent to Arena's house. Luckily for him, he spotted the guys in the car and was able to drive away. This would be the start of another Colombo war. Between the Persico and Arena factions, over a dozen guys were killed and many more injured. In April of 1992, Vic Arena was arrested. He would eventually be convicted of racketeering and receive three life sentences. Carmine Persico won the war and kept his official boss position up until his death in March of 2019. After Persico's death, the Columbos had a new boss named Andrew Andy Mush Russo. Andy Mush served as the underboss to the family back in the 70s and held the acting boss position several times throughout the years. During my time, Sally Bread Cambria was the acting boss for the Columbos, but at some point, Andy Mush took back over. On September 14, 2021, the FBI arrested several members of the Colombo family, but the damage of the arrest came from the dismantling of the family's administration. Among those arrested were Andy Mush, 
his underboss Benjamin Casalazzo, and Ralphie Di Matteo, the family's consigliere. In one strategic move, the government caused a major void in the Colombo's family's leadership, and it was a void that needed to be filled quickly. At this point, I'll give my opinion. Many viewers have requested I do this video on the current state of the Columbos. Keep in mind, as I mentioned, this is only my opinion. Although Sally Bread has held the acting position in the past, I don't believe one person is leading the Columbos at the moment. They most likely put a panel in place. Also, let's not forget Joe Waverly Cacase's home now, one of the family's most dangerous and serious guys. Joe Waverly played an active role in the 1991 war and also held a position in the administration. I happen to have heard a story of just how dangerous he was, which I'll get into in another video. So in my opinion, assuming he's off paper, parole by now, Joe Waverly would be the person running the family. He's more than capable of being the boss. However, although he'll most likely keep an administration position, I feel he's warming the boss seat for a much younger guy. That would be Theodore Teddy Persico, nephew to Carmine Persico. In 1993, while serving a state sentence for a 1987 drug case, Teddy Persico received permission to attend a wake at Scarpacci's funeral home in Brooklyn for his grandmother. It was during that wake that he ordered the murder of Giorgio Scopo, an underboss for the Arena faction. Giorgio Scopo was killed months later outside his house. His murder would be the last of the Colombo War. By 2012, Teddy Persico pled guilty for ordering the murder, which he ultimately served 12 years for. Although he's held a position in the administration, Teddy Persico never remains free long enough to officially take over, as was the case in the September 14, 2021 arrest of the administration. Teddy Persico, listed as a captain, was also arrested for violating his parole by associating with members of the Colombo family. Presently, Teddy Persico is locked up at the MDC in Brooklyn. He should be released soon as it is only a parole violation. When he is released, we'll see if my prediction is correct. And if so, can Teddy Persico stay out of prison long enough to become the official boss? You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com. And I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Thank you. Well, just another example in the mob you never knew about. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you can do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description to this video.